The only thing you need to know about Bitcoin. Are you scared of the current Bitcoin action? Is it giving you some anxiety? Well, it shouldn't. And today I'm going to tell you the one thing you need to know about Bitcoin to lead you to not being concerned about it anymore. And that one thing is this. There is a standard that will limit crypto reserve exposure among central banks to 2% in 2025. This goes in effect January 1st, 2025, you better believe these central banks will probably start stacking in Q4 of this year in anticipation for this rule change on January 1st, 2025. But central banks can hold up to 2% of their reserves in cryptocurrency that will likely be Bitcoin. Now, first of all, let's take a look at Bitcoin today. Bitcoin is actually looking all right today. We are coming. I like this structure. I am liking this right here. I like that it's kind of staying towards the top of the move here in this structure. We're getting just outside of this aggressive descending channel on Bitcoin. I am liking what I'm seeing here. I want to see it get a back above $60,000 close, create an, uh, a flat area like this, making the, that right shoulder there. And then I want to see it go up over 70 from here. That's the kind of stuff I want to see because you know, like when it does a head and shoulders on Bitcoin, it tends to be pretty flat that the, the shoulders do of it. And the head tends to be like a spike coming out of that head and shoulders, just like back here where you saw it, right? And like this one was less flat than others, but you like you had kind of like a decreasing shoulder, then a spike, and then another kind of like flat shoulder, and then up. Um, that's sort of how this thing likes to do heads and shoulders. Um, so it is actually in a pretty good spot. It is looking pretty Good. Now let's take a look at our micro strategy trade. It is looking a little bit weak here. I'm not in love with the price action like this morning. It was a nice gap up to 1342. Remember, we got in here at about 12, like 60, 1270, somewhere in between this white and red line here. So I'm going to actually go ahead and turn this one off because I don't need or want that one. Okay. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to draw a trend line. So one thing that's a little bit concerning about this price action right now is we are forming something of a rising wedge. Don't love that part. We zoom out here. Yeah, it's something of a rising wedge, which if we come out of this on the bottom end of, we could find ourselves right back down here on these lows. Uh, and of course, it is, it is all dependent on Bitcoin. Now, one thing here, though. So we had a double bottom right here that came through and ended up here. That was nice. We are now seeing a parallel channel to the downside which will likely break to the upside and find it back up here at the top of this trend line here about, again, 1343 again, maybe even a little higher. That'd be nice. Uh, but MicroStrategy is doing well. I'm up something like uh, $30, $40 on this in like two days, which isn't like really, really fast for um, you know what I'm used to doing. I'm used to making three, four percent off of a few thousand dollars in a couple of minutes and then moving on. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of a fun little experiment, right? I got my pitch back here on July or June, uh, July 5th. Blah. On July 5th, um, I, it came up. I missed that pitch initially, so I missed this big up move from 1200. I got in at the middle area here of the 1200s and riding it up into the 1300s, and that's been very nice. And I will continue to do so until it breaks. Honestly, until it breaks this this, this ascending line right down here. Uh, when it when it breaks that, then then I'll be looking at uh, maybe it wasn't so good, and I'll take an exit for a very small profit, and that'll be okay. Anyways, so central banks will start holding. Will, will be allowed to start holding 2% of their balance sheets in Bitcoin starting January 1st, 2025. Now let's go to coin market cap and see what is the size of the Bitcoin um, market cap right now. It is $1.1 trillion for Bitcoin right now. So how big is the Federal Reserve's balance sheet? The Federal Reserve has $7.2 trillion. In it right now and it's going to probably go up from here i don't think it's going to go down from here because we're starting to get into quantitative easing so if we have 7.2 trillion dollars how many zeros is that again that's a billion trillion okay they can hold up to two percent i don't think they're going to do that let's just say for the sake of sandbagging this whole thing let's say that they do half of one percent if i'm just going to calculate that that's going to be zero zero five all right that would be $36 billion just from the, the U.S. Federal Bank going into, from the U.S. Fed going into Bitcoin. $36 billion. 
currently Bitcoin has 1.1 trillion. Okay, so how much of of this is how much of this would be the market cap? All right, so let's see, 1.1 trillion. That looks right. Yep. Okay. That'd be an increase of 3.2 percent of the market cap, just from half a percent. All right, 3.2 percent. Just from that one injection that they could do in like a single quarter, right? Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but when you start getting big players like this coming in, it starts getting FOMO of other players and institutions are involved in this now as well. So if they think that suddenly this thing's going to go up by thirty-six billion dollars. Um, we we can see some other moves out of out of things like BlackRock, Fidelity, those other places. Now let's say they did a one percent allocation, all right? One percent. Now we're talking about seventy-two billion dollars, or in this case. The doubling of this should be about six and a half percent, a six and a half percent increase only from the U.S. Fed coming in here uh, in 2025, probably Q4 of this year. Now, let's go look at. So I've got some other central banks brought up here, right? So I've got the Central Bank of Europe here. This is the European Union Central Bank. They've got about um, eight. Was it eight? About eight trillion or so. So they had somewhere in the range of, was it 8 trillion euros in their central bank overall, which ends up being about $9 trillion. It's actually a bit bigger than the U.S. Fed. Um, it's a bit bigger than them. So if they added, you know, their 70 to $100 billion worth of um, value into the crypto market, that is another 6%. So now uh, we're up to where? Um, let me find it. That was 6.5%. We're up to 13% now just from those two central banks. China has um, some, uh, so it's got 430,000 times by 100 million yuan in the central bank. I calculated that here. That ends up being almost $6 trillion. So again, that's going to be close to that uh, $70 billion if they did 1% going into it. So let's take that down a bit and say it's only like going to be Let's take that down again a bit and say it's only going to be something like um, like 3% versus 3.5%. So it's going to be another, uh, or no, sorry, 6% versus 6.5%. Okay. So that's a 19% increase just from that central bank. Let's say Japan gets in on this as well. Their total amount here, uh, what does that say? That's 753.6 billion in a thousand yen. Uh, so I took that right here, right? Okay. And that ends up being about 4.6 trillion dollars so let me actually do 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 all right let's calculate that one because that one's smaller one percent that's about 46 billion dollars 46.666 billion dollars whoops i didn't do that 46.666 billion About 4%. So we're going to add 4% on top of that. Now we're at 23% just from those four central banks the US, the EU, China, and Japan. If those three, if those, sorry, those four central banks get in on Bitcoin, that is a 23% increase from where we currently are. So what is our current price? Our current price of Bitcoin is 57.9. Uh, let's see, 57.9. Okay. That right there takes us right back to $71,000. Now, let's say uh, we go through a Q3 jump from here to there, right? Uh, like, let's say we get up to that $80,000 mark that everyone's constantly talking about. You know, let's not even say this. Let's just go back to all previous all-time highs before Q4 or before the 1st of January 2025. We're looking at a $91,000 Bitcoin just from that. That doesn't include the ETFs. That doesn't include supply shock. That doesn't include any of these other things that could be going on or other central banks, just four in the world. There are a lot more than four. And if they just allocated half of what they're allowed to allocate, we could be seeing a $91,000 Bitcoin just by January 1st from that alone. So if there's one thing you need to know about Bitcoin, 
to remember that it's probably going to be just fine. It's that the central banks can now start buying Bitcoin in a couple of months. And if only four of them, we're talking the US, the EU, China, and Japan, were to put 1% in half of what they're allowed to allocate, you would see a minimum of a 23% increase in the price of Bitcoin from there on out. And that is likely never to be sold, creating an even greater supply crunch on Bitcoin. So, that's what I wanted to talk about today. That's why I'm not concerned about these fluctuations in price, this drop in price. It doesn't concern me. In fact, I'm just buying things as they drop from this drop. One other thing I want to do real quick today is just do a real quick rundown on the miners. I'm just going to read them off of my phone as to what they're doing right now. Uh, and I'll go and do more of an analysis tomorrow when the um, market has actually closed since uh, the market tends to flip around all over the place lately. But anyways, we've got CleanSpark is up 0.72%. Bit Digital up 1.99% this morning. Bit Farms up 1.8%. Mara up 0.97%. Riot up 1.2%. Cypher up 2.86%. Iron up 4.65% after yesterday's big jump. Core Z up 2.2% after yesterday's big dump. Wolf, I forgot about yesterday. They were down 8% yesterday. I forgot to include that in my roundup yesterday. But this morning, they are recovering nicely with a 2.39% move up. Hut up 2.12%. Bitdeer 1.6%. Hive 1.82% up today. That is the quick roundup of the miners in terms of how much they have moved this morning. Anyways, that is all I've got for you today. Please like, comment, subscribe, share this video, and have a profitable day.